everyone, CTP here. I just got back from watching the premiere of both the Patrick Star Show and Middlemost Post only on Nickelodeon. So yeah, this is just gonna be a quickie, a quick little video, unscripted. So sorry if I say um and oh a lot in this video, which you know I will. Yeah, this is just gonna be a quick little video reviewing both these shows. I'll make more concise reviews of them on IMDb once I rewatch both the premiere episodes. This will be this weekend, I hope. So first, the Patrick Star Show. This is the second SpongeBob spin-off after Camp Coral. I wasn't particularly excited about this one either. Everyone says Steven Hilberg didn't want spin-offs. He just didn't see any spin-offs. And he particularly said that uh, Patrick on his own wouldn't work. And you know what? That's true because um, he's a comedy relief character. He's meant to be a sidekick, and it's best in small doses not to take up his own show. That's why Planet Sheen failed, because uh, Sheen from Jimmy Neutron works best as a side character, a comedy relief, not a main character, because he gets very annoying very quickly. Well, at least this was more tolerable than Planet Sheen, and way better than Camp Coral. First of all, it doesn't have the weird PS2 CGI animation that Can't Coral has. It's animated the same style as the main Spongebob show. Very expressive. In fact, there's even uh, Peter Lore Fish. You know, classic cartoons reference the, the actor Peter Lore all the time. And I like the new designs for Patrick, P Patrick's family. You know, I'm with Stupid. We saw Patrick's parents... And, um, they look just like him. Pretty, yep, yeah, pretty bland character designs. But they look m much more fun and welcoming here. So those are some pauses for the show. I can see this as something fun for the kids, but obviously not something I would watch all the time. And I, I would probably watch if there was nothing else on, but I'd rather support original Nicktoons instead. Still, I take this over Camp Coral any day. Next up we have Middlemost Post. The first original Nicktoon in five years. You know, because apparently Bunsen and his Beast doesn't exist anymore. Uh, no one likes Butch Hartman anyways. And Welcome to the Wayne was based on a mini-series from 2014. And while Glitch Text is original, uh, it uh, was on Netflix, not on the channel. Should have been on the channel. Darn it. And this isn't coming to the Acquire shows. This is an in-house Nickelodeon animation studio show, not based on a previously established property. And so you can bet that my Twitter friends were hyping it up. And you know what? It was great. It really channels that Spongebob and Chowder energy. And it's pretty obvious it would channel Spongebob because the creator of the show, John Travick III, uh, worked on Spongebob. No, it's about a little cloud named Parker delivering the mail with his friend Angus and Russell the, wal the Walrus. So, yeah. It's really fun. It has that... It's really zany, eccentric, quirky, just all around fun to watch. It's a very happy show, like an escapism method. So if you wanted to watch it just to get away from the cruel world or just to cheer you up, this show would be perfect for it because of how optimistic it is. Plus, I like the show that the show has a theme song. Not a lot of cartoons these days uh, do theme songs. They're mostly just a title card with music over it for like two seconds. I really hate that. So yeah, the show has a really catchy theme song. Great animation. You know what? It uses mixed media, which the uh, um Mount Middlemost is shown in. No, wait, not Mount Middlemost. The Middlemost Post, which is at the very top of Mount Middlemost. Is shown in CGR or claymation. While the characters are animated in 2D. It reminds me of Flapjack too. Parker's Flapjack. Angus is Knuckles. And Russell is Bubby. It's perfect. 
obviously not as dark or have the same amount of gross out as Flapjack, but you'll get what I'm saying. It's a, pretty much a found family story. You know, just, uh, ex-sailor dad and his cloud son. So wholesome, Uwu 100. Like, unironically. You know, Parker is described, described as a reformed rain cloud, which means he used to be bad, but now he was good. He doesn't want to rain on people's parades anymore. He just wants to, um, brighten people's days. It's a very personal story for John Travick, actually, because, uh, he based Parker's experiences on Parker's character arc on him, his experiences with drug abuse. So, yeah, that's a very personal thing. And I really like when shows give the message that anyone can change the redemption, that you're not a bad person. There's good in everyone. I love optimistic messages like that. They give just just a bit of warmth to my cold, dead, cynical heart. Thanks a lot, Twitter, for ruining my outlook on the world. So yeah, I can vouch for Middle Most Post being an epic show. You should definitely watch it and support it. We need more original Nicktoons. And we need the show to be a success. I can definitely see it be a successful show that kids will love. So yeah, thanks for listening, listening to me ramble, I guess.